This video tutorial is all about creating labels using Mail Merge in Office or Microsoft 365 in Word. Now I'm going to be using a Word document together with an Excel spreadsheet where my details are held. The question I was asked by the lovely Martina was, how do I get the formatting right for all my labels, get the spacing right, etc. And I also want to add a logo. So how can we do that? So here you go. We start off with a blank Word document and we'll go to the mailings ribbon. And along here, we'll start select mail merge and choose labels. So far, so easy. You then have to decide which label template you're going to be using. And we're going to be using the Avery A4 and A5 size, which is somewhere in this list. If you'll just give me a second. There we go. Avery A4, A5. Now I'm going to demonstrate this using a label called L7160, which is the one that I always used to use, but you might choose differently. I'm also going to change the margins on it. So I'll click details and I'm going to give the top margin 1.8 just to give it a little bit more space between the edge of the label and the start of the text and then click OK. The next thing you see is a label template showing up on your Word document, which is fab. The next thing to do is to add in the logo that we want to use. So I'll go to the insert ribbon and pictures, go and find the logo for tomorrow's VA. Now, when you add something here, it's going to be the first thing. We're only going to set up the very first label. And then whatever goes in the first label will get uh, updated and sent onto all the other labels. So anything that we do on this first label will be copied across. So there we've got the logo. Now on the next row, back to the mailings ribbon. And let's see what's going on here. I have to select the recipients. That's what's going on here. It doesn't know who I want to send it to yet. That should have been the next step. Anyway, we're going to use an existing list and I'm going to go and find that list in my um, demo file folder. There we go, demo files. And it's called 100 Fake Contacts. Now on this workbook or in this workbook, I've got several worksheets where I've played around with my data. And I've got this one called Mail Merge where my data is. So I'm going to use that one. Now, now Word is going to let me propagate or copy anything on that first label to all the other labels. So the next thing is to use the merge fields. Now, a lot of people will go and use the address block. With the address block, you don't have a huge amount of say over the formatting or the spacing of it. Personally, I always prefer to use the merge fields because then I have full control over which fields get added and what the spacing is. So I'm going to do the given name, type a space, and then their surname. And then I'm going to press return to go to the next street, street address, enter, city, space, and then postcode, because I'd like this postcode to be the same. Now, so far, so good. The next thing I'm going to do is select the whole table and come up to the layout ribbon and set it to the middle. So this is a table layout option. On the layout for the table, I'm setting the position of the text to be the center of the label. So centered from the top to the bottom, from the left to the right. Now I'm ready to go back to the mailings and choose update labels. And you'll see that it looks a bit odd because we can still see all the field codes where it says next record and given name, surname. However, if I click the preview button, you'll see that all those fields disappear and it just looks perfect. And now I can go to finish and merge, edit the document, and there we have it. That's the document that's ready to print. Now, of course, I can still select that whole table and change it if I want to. So if I wanted to check the change the text to red, all I have to do is change it there. I'm not going to because I don't like red text, but you get the idea. So Martina, there you have it. That's how to create your labels, including the logo. And I hope you found that useful. See you in another video.